ดแก้วพิชากโอเค here we go ladies and gentlemen we move on to our fifth our sixth fight sorry this is going to be f o u r over five rounds it's Thailand taking on Brazil at 138 pounds in the blue corner we have l a m e c Silva he's 29 years old 181 centimeters tall 57 fights in his record 43 victories 14 defeats he is training out of l u x o One Muay Thai gym which is in Bangkok and he is originally from Brazil and now introducing his opponent finally out of the red corner he goes by the name of g a i a s e t Bopadansi 27 years of age, 177 centimeters tall, has a total of 85 fights, 60 victories, 20 losses, and 5 draws. Currently training out of Boba Dansi, and he's originally from Gampang Pet Province. Okay, so here we see the Y crew. Now this is a ritual that is performed by each fighter before the fight. As I was saying before, the word Y is when the hands come together as a greeting or a prayer to show respect. The word crew in Thai means teacher. So the Y crew is to pay respect to your coach, the coach that has trained you to get up to this point, to get into the ring and to represent the gym, and to have another fight for yourself, to continue your career. So this is really steeped in tradition. There's lots of variations of the Y crew. We've seen a real quick version with these two. Where you seal the ring, where you knock out any bad spirits, any evil spirits out of the ring, which is what Thai Thai people are very superstitious. Buddhism is a real steep in the is is a real practice um, religion here. Really believe in you know paying respect to people and all that. And then the athletes also have a headband wrapped around their head, which is called the m o n g Kong. Now that is almost like a Sort of a talisman that is it s y m b o l i z e s that the fight the fight is connection between the gym and sorry the, the, all the lineage that's been passed on to them. Every single fighter from that gym will wear this moncon before the fight commences, and the coach will give them a final prayer before it's taken off to wish them good luck. And the moncon is always put in a high place because it is believed that all moncons normally get blessed, and Thai people believe that if a moncon hits the floor, then the magic is gone and. It's not lucky anymore. And for a lot of people, I mean, with the Y crew, it really does ease them before their fight. So it really is a calm before the storm. Speaking of the storm, here we go, round number one out of five. And Ali, what do we know about rounds one and a two in a five rounder? Well, it's a very slow pace, but uh, here at LWC Super Champ, we score every single round. This isn't like the stadiums where you can just coast the first three rounds and then win the fourth round and win the fight. Doesn't work like that here. You have to win every single round. Now l a m e c Silva has a lot of experience in Thailand. He's fought regularly, fought before on Super c h a m p a long time ago. He's done everything. He fought on MX. Yeah, he's been here for years. He's fought every single kind of entertainment show that you could fight on out here. Very experienced. Really good stringy frame, good with the straight knees, good at setting up his straight knees as well. Doesn't waste any time too. g a i a s i t though, very experienced, fought a lot in LWC Super Champ. Like I said previously on the intro, and he also won a couple of the tournaments. Yeah, and the low kick from both b e t t e r just feeling each other out at the moment, just trying to find a weakness. You see the feints coming in early from l a m e t Upward elbow previously by g a i a s i t Like Kevin said, fill out process. Both fighters just trying to check their timing, check out their opponent's timing as well. Yeah, it is a good time to do it. I mean, the first round out of five, and I mean, already tonight earlier, I mean, we we seen three round fights where people actually do get tired even in the second round. So, it really is a lot more tactical, I'd say, than a three round fight. You really got to pace yourself properly. No when to strike. No when to really dish out punishment. But referee b u n l e r just getting taking control of the fight there and saying you two really need to start fighting more. Yeah, referee b u n l e r one of the more experienced referees we have here at Lumpini Boxing Stadium, and he likes to see a good fight just like we do. The teeps to the leg from g a i a s i t and the low kicks from l a m e c k so far. There you go. You see, 
Gaius just putting the gloves out just to try to annoy Lamech a little bit. Low kicks there from Lamech, touching the glove as well. Great way to get your range. Owen Elbow just misses there by Gaius. Lamech just leaning out of the way. And we did expect this sort of pace in the beginning. No one really having the advantage just yet. But fair to say that both of them have learned a lot from each other already here in this first round. Don't think they competed against each other before. No, I don't think they have. But they've both had a really good approach to this first round. Just taking it easy, trying to find their timing. Just the range finders they've used. Okay, let's get into round one. Stay with us! A first round we expected from both, both these competitors was an easy going round for Gaia Sit, and it was an easy going round for Lamech. Both just feeling each other out, trying to test each other's weaknesses, trying to build a game plan on top of what they learned in the first round. Of course, it was a good victory in, in his last match for Gaia Sit. He won a bye decision against Elias Gonzali, and he wants to build on that. Yeah, for sure. Lamech won as well in his last fight against Mung Si. Pong Pan Muang. That's right. And both of them really have a lot on the line. I mean, especially after good victories like that. Yeah, for sure. So things are probably going to heat up now in round two as these two go through the gears. And uh, referee Pun Lert. I think he's making that clear as well, that he wants to see more action. Very stern look on his face. Well, you can't blame him. We want to see it as well. Exactly. Already, you can already see the uh, power has gone up just by a bit. See, there you go. Lamette got his timing with the short low kicks in the first round, and now he's powering them in on the outside. Seemed like for just a moment, Lamette was powering up a kick, there we go, another low kick landing for Lamech. A lot of low kicks have landed for Lamech so far, which uh, Gaia said has not blocked. And of course, what we know about a boy tie match, if you don't block those low kicks, the pain will start to build up. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, Lamech just turning these low kicks over now, generating way more power behind them. Let's see up there. And the low kicks once again bothering Gaia said from Lamech. And now there's the low kicks from Gaia which is bothering Lamech. Vice versa. But um, with Lamech's style, I mean, you know he's been here in time for several years just due to his composure. Just the experience as well. I remember when him and Felipe Lobo came over and they were training at Family Muay Thai and both just working their way through. That This was before LWC Super Champion Week, before we had a lot of entertainment shows, and they both really worked their way up. That's right, and they both, uh, at one point, even trained in Phuket. Yeah, at Revolution. Trying to find his way on the inside now, Lomek. He does. Knees landing for the Brazilian. Good long guard there. Just it's great work there from Lomek, just pushing your, making yourself nice and tall. Pulling your head back, pulling his head back so that Gaiaset couldn't advance with his grip. A nice kick to the midsection there from Gaiaset. Miss of a jab there, but lands the teep. Such a calm fighter, Gaiaset. 
Yeah, looks like that punch combination definitely got the attention of Gaiasit. Gaiasit trying to land that left body kick on the back foot. There's that elbow on the inside. Very short elbow from Gaiasit and a return of a knee by Lomek. Seemed like Gaiasit did not want anything to do with the inside anymore after that. But he goes back into it and lands a really good knee on the inside. The Lamet, Lamet does that a lot where he lands a straight knee and hops on his on his uh, standing foot to set up an elbow. This guy sit definitely wants to watch that. He needs to control Lamet in the clinch. There's a straight knee there from a Brazilian. Oh, lovely turn and a knee there from Guy Sit. You can just tell he's got so much tricks up his sleeve. Yeah, exactly. And it's little things like that, Kevin, that can really steal around. Speaking of which, that's the end of round two. We'll see you in round three. So we mentioned earlier, Ali, five round fights tend to start off pretty soft. Not with not too much power. Then the power increases in the second round by a bit. And then the third, we tend to see full power. Will we see that here in this fight? I think we will. I think they're both trying to, they're both finding their groove. Lamech lying Gaius it out with his punches on the outside, especially that combination. Straight knees from Lamech too, but Gaius it really does have a lot. A lot of moves, a lot of tools in his toolbox that he can use in the clinch. We saw it earlier, just before the end of the round. Just grab, knee, and then turn. That's right. And sometimes, Kevin, that can just win you a fight. Most definitely. And I think, uh, I think we're going to see another stir stern word or stern telling off by referee Bunlut. You see right there. Glad he hasn't told us off yet. Hope he never does. <laughs> and there it is. He wants to see both competitors fight, and so do we. We expect top power now in this third round. Good kick there from Gaiasit. And back to the low kicks we go for. Lamek and back to the body, but good block there by, Ga by Gaiasit. Beautiful knee to the midsection by Gaiasit and manages to put that glove in front of the face of Lamek. Yeah, long guard here. Guy is sitting full control, landing straight. He's up the middle, and Lamech really needs to swim his arms in and get control of that right hand of Guy is it. See how early on he was just moving his head up and down, but he really needed to move his arm around as well, swim it through the guard to get control. Oh, beautiful kick there from Guy is it. Manages to get in a good position to do that. We're going to see more of that from a guy who said, and there we go, as you've said, trying to get position there on the inside, and there he has it. There we go, good lock there from Lamech, but Guy is it, fighting back to a bit of a stalemate in that clinch position from both fighters. Yeah, it really was. I mean, once Lamech found his way onto the inside, it seems like Guy is it knew exactly where to position his hands to get into a good position as well. Lamech with the low lock, that force referee Bunler to break up the clinch. Yeah, move that is illegal in Muay Thai. Well, if you overextend the back, that is. But never a good sign to see, though. You can attempt sweeps from there. Good out step through elbow there from the Met. But they are really difficult to do in the low body lock. We see Gaiaset just dropping his body weight now, just trying to get control of the mech, which he does. Yeah, a lot of veteran moves being done here from Gaiasit. Nice of a kick there from Lamech. And a good knee to the midsection by Lamech. And a return knee by Gaiasit. Gaiasit very happy to trade knees with Lamech. Makes you wonder, Ali, if what you've seen so far, is it better for Gaiasit to stay on the outside or on the inside? 
I think on the outside he needs to keep using that left body kick and on the inside definitely use the clinch. Oh yes, very, very good on the inside, guys. it. Lamet keeps on missing with this body kick though. He needs to set it up. I don't know why he's not going back to his straight punches. They were working for him so well but in the fly, early rounds. That flying knee though from Gaiasit did not miss. And a good right hand again from Gaiasit. Gaiasit looking like he's seen control of this fight. Really has found his groove in this third round. Again, knee to the midsection by Gaiasit landing time and time again. And you see Lamek struggling with his hand positioning in that clinch. Final 10 seconds of this third round. Gaisit really in a good groove at the moment. What a good round it was for Gaisit, and that ends the third round. Ali, it may have been difficult for us to choose a winner in the first and second, but I don't think there's any doubt in the third round that Gaiasit took that one. It was just really levels above Lamech when it comes to the clinching and also the kicking. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Gaiasit was definitely the better of the two in the clinch. He just did exactly what he needs to do, almost connecting there with that flying knee, but it wasn't really just that he didn't connect with it. He got into a good clinch position. And overall, got into a really good groove. I don't know, sometimes you just feel that flow as a fighter, and it's just there for you. And I think, <laughs> I think Gaiset is there right now. And here he is again. Just Lamech trying to clinch with Gaiset. I don't think it's the best tactic for the Brazilian. Really needs to keep this fight on the outside and box him on the outside. Can't do it though. And he's really good with that left glove there, just pushing the face of Lamech. Point of the fight, Lamech really needs to start moving forward now, really needs to start doing more. But every time he does come over, he gets caught in the clinch by Gaiasit. Beautiful kick to the midsection there from Lamech. Landing this time, Lamech though still on the back foot. Nice block of the kick by Gaiasit. Gaiasit had that one well scouted. Right hand and just a miss of a kick there from Gaisit. But nevertheless, a good attempt. And as you said, Ali, he keeps missing that kick, Lamek. Needs to set it up. Don't know why he's not going back to his boxing. He did so well with that in the earlier rounds. Yeah. He's just trying to out-clinch Gaisit. And I don't think that's the best tactic for me, Kevin. If I was in his corner, I'd be telling him to start lining him up with these punches. Yeah, because we have seen time and time again that when they do get into the clinch, Gaiasit tends to have the advantage. So as I said, maybe not the best tactics, but earlier in the in the rounds, we saw Lamech have some have some very good attempts or very good connection, connections with the hooks and the uppercuts. Perhaps it'd be better for Lamech to go back to those. I mean, we saw in round one, that was a great turn there from Gaiasit just pushing Lamech down to the canvas. We saw in round one, Lamech just able to step through the guard and land these elbows too he just hasn't been able to do that too much no unfortunately not 
think now he's just fallen to the game plan of Gaius. That, that could be the case, Ali. And also, the, what about the low kicks? Gaius sits front leg is a little bit red from not blocking those low kicks in the first couple of rounds and the mech hasn't gone back to it no he has not I mean I thought that worked for him earlier but nevertheless he wants to fight fire with fire he wants to be in the clinch with Gaiasit he's fighting Gaiasit's fight which just isn't, gonna, isn't going so well at the moment I'm, with, I'm in agreement with you on your unofficial scorecard I think Gaiasit's walking away with this at the moment and again with that Miss of a kick again, two misses in a row. Could he make it a hat trick? No, he goes for the spinning back elbow. Quite honestly, Ali, what a way to set it up. Yeah, Lomek is very creative, especially with these unorthodox techniques. Clock is winding down now. We're in the dying seconds of round four. Lomek flinching forward, trying to set up another left body kick. Just misses with that. Okay, that's the end of round four. We'll see you in round five. Don't go anywhere. Again, I gotta say it, another good round for Gaiasit. I think he really had control there. So good on the inside. And on the outside, managed to land some good kicks and punches. Not that time though. Yeah, I mean, Gaiasit fighting his fight. Great technical fighter. Just been so pinpoint accurate with that left body kick and controlled pretty much all of the clinch exchanges so far in round four and three. Lamech just playing into his own game. Playing into, I mean, showing my frustrations in, in the round before. I think he just needs to not fight the same fight Gaius it is. It's just not working out for him at all. It's, hopefully he can change things up in this fifth and final round. Is it time to go for broke for Lamech, you think? 100%. Gotta go for broke. Just leave it all in there. Throw everything out of the kitchen sink at him. Don't go in the clinch. But also, you've got to wonder who won the first two rounds. 10-10. Could give it 10-10. Yeah. Could be the case, though. Of course, Ali and I, we are not the judges. We're just making guesses here. Oh, good body shot there from Lamech, and that is the right way to go. Yeah, that's way better from the Brazilian fighter. He needs to start just lighting up Gaiasit with his hands, throwing heavy lever at him. He can definitely do it. I've seen him do it before. Just see it again. Big arso for this round, Kevin. Yeah, I mean, earlier in the fight, we saw some good punching from him, just like that. I mean, throwing the uppercut at such close range. Just left a little bit too late. There he goes again with the hook. Good. Good punch and knee combination there. A lot more variation now from Lamec. Now finally he's coming to life. See, this is the Lamec that we know, just stepping forward with that left knee. Trademark move for this fighter. Absolutely. And there's the style that we've seen him for many years. And that's what we know him for. Good block of the kick from Lamec. Gaiasit just slowing down and trying to defend and protect his lead because you can just tell from his body language and his tactics, Kevin, he really thinks he's won. He's just staying on the back foot, waiting to count on Lamech and then tie him up in the clinch just to kill the clock, chew the clock. That's right, just as you said, he really thinks he won. We've seen it before where someone thinks they won. They take it easy in that final round and uh, eventually they don't get the victory. So it has happened. Guys, it needs to be very careful here. 
Lamech still stalking forward. Guy is sitting, missing with that straight right. Lamech, left body kick off just as he exited the clinch. Looks like there is a small bump on the forehead of Gaiaset. Yeah, I think that's been there for some time now, but it just keeps on growing and growing as the fight goes on. Yeah, they are the worst injuries to get from a Muay Thai fight. I've seen worse. <laughs> but they don't feel good either. I no, understand what don't. you mean, Ali. And this is definitely not what we don't want to see, and they're not supposed to do this at all. They've got to keep fighting. Quite honestly, <laughs> until I got into the sport of Muay Thai, I thought these bumps just happened in cartoons. Just got to keep pushing the pace, Lamech. Right hand connects there for Guy Yassir. Upward elbow from Lamech to get into the clinch. And Lamech having one final look at the clock. Not much time left at all. Good counter from Geisit. And that is the end of the fifth and final round. A good display overall, though, from Geisit. Really fought to his game. Really had the advantage in that match. Yeah, it was definitely a great technical fight from Geisit. Like you said, Kevin, he stuck to the game plan. Just keeps it simple as well. Time up in the clinch. They get the last knee before the referee breaks up the exchange. And he landed that left body kick so well. Especially this right hand too. That was a good entry for him. Lamek though, did fight well. But I think he left it a little bit too late. We really saw the best round of him in that fifth round. Okay, we'll take it to Matthew Dean for the official decision. And we'll see you in our final fight. Don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of Muay Thai here, we have our winner from the Red Corner, Thailand, Gaia Sit Bobrachan Sri, ครับผู้ชนะของคู่นี้ครับ ขอชัยชนะกับมาไม่ได้ครับในคู่นี้ 6-136 ขอบคุณรอบชัยโยวันนี้ครับระหว่างนักชกสายสดฮะรักกายกําลังแข็งแกร่งครับฟอร์มกําลังสดฮะนักชกจากประเทศบราซิลครับ 2 ไพ่หวนหน้าแก้เคล็ดขัดยอกและบรรเทาอาการปวดเมื่อยตามร่างกาย